guys. So here's my remote control mower. Uh, it's an X mark. Uh, it's missing the shroud. Well, I have it. I just didn't paint it yet. Uh, it's a little dirty now because I've been using it. But uh, we'll go over some stuff. So I have some waterproof servos. Obviously for the choke and the throttle. Uh, a couple wheelchair motors. And I had to play around with the gear ratio to get it right. And now for the good stuff. There's a lot of wires. Um, it gets a little tricky because some stuff is 24 volt, some stuff is 12 volt, some stuff is even 5 volt. Oh, I made this box out of plastic Versatex. Some guys will know what it is. Now we have a saber tooth speed control. Uh, couple relays, a few. Uh, starter, ignition, and then PTO. Those are all controlled by battle switches. Now supposedly with the spectrum guys were saying they were experiencing brownouts stuff like that so I got a regulator steps me down from 24 down to 5 so I can run all these switches without powering them through the receiver um, I'm a safety freak so all these relays are wired to be normally uh, open. So if we lose power, the relays stay open, not making a connection. So that means can't start it, can't turn it on and off, can't turn on a PTO. The starter is linked in with the ignition. It shares a ground, so you can't start it without having the ignition on. Like I said, I like safety. Uh, we have a circuit breaker. Now down here, which I'm sure some people have noticed already, I have a gyro. Haven't seen anyone use them yet, especially on a mower. But I'm sure I will be seeing it now. Works really nice. Heading hold keeps the lines nice and straight. I also have alternator mounted underneath keeps everything charged up as long as there's fuel in it will stay running and there's some brackets I made and that's how I put tension on the belts and overall it works pretty good and in a little bit, I'll show you how uh, it cuts the grass. Alright guys, here's a DX9. It's what I'm using. It's what I chose. Uh, the way I got it set up is this switch, this switch, works the ignition. ignition Both no have data. to be up. Ignition, no data. One Off. up, one down, doesn't work. Off. Got it set up with the throttle cut. Uh, over here I have the choke. Next to it is a dial, obviously for the throttle. Idle up one. System idle. PTO. Spin rates. Stall turn rates. So I'm using the bind button to start it. Ignition, no data. Won't start. Ignition, Both no of them data. On. It'll start. Off. Off. Alright. Now... I see everybody here cutting grass and they built themselves a mower and it's shaky, it's jerky. These motors are strong, <clears throat> but it seems like no one knows how to set up the expo rates. So, this switch and this switch are my expo rates. Forward and reverse have three separate settings. Mid rates, manual mode. Same for the steering. High rates, 
Helps a lot. It's not jerky. Now, also, magic switch here is a gyro. Head tracker on. Head tracker off. Works really good. Nice clean lines, nice and straight. Any little deviations in the grass and the machine stays on track. Doesn't move. Uh, on heading hold, you point it in the direction that it wants to go and it'll hold that line all day. A five year old could drive this thing across the grass. And then obviously, that one stick controls the whole machine. Also, with all the fail safe <clears throat> set on it, turn the power off, the way the relays are set up, everything dies. No power at all. And that's about it. Uh, works really well. I also did the FPV on it. Worked out pretty well. Uh, I did the 1.2 gig uh, video transmitter. Got me through all the bushes and everything. Um, I could actually sit in a garage on the screen and watch it and get just about around the whole entire neighborhood. Um, like I said, it worked good, but you can't transmit HD. <clears throat> so you can't see the lines in the grass that well. The higher you get the camera, it worked pretty good, but for me standing in a driveway, I'll take that. I mean, it was nice sitting watching it on the TV, but it just didn't work out that well.